most of you will be kind of familiar with. So it's the online kind of mapping. Um, a lot of people use it if they're traveling, they could get uh, directions. But they also then used video uh, footage, and they actually put the video footage onto the Google map. And many of you are nodding, so you probably know this. This was a great revelation to me. I didn't know you could do that. Um, but what they did was they really went out there and started capturing the strengths of their community uh, and also the places that needed community attention. So they didn't say, oh, this is a write-off or this is a liability to the community. They said, you know, this has huge potential. It's a hidden treasure. We need to do something about it. It won't just become a treasure uh, by letting it stand as it is. So we need to be intentional about that. So this is the map, I think. Thanks, Janine. Um, we're not going to linger on it too long, but it's just, uh, and because we don't have sound, uh, you, you won't be able to hear the videos, but we will send you the link, so, you know, when you have more time, you can, you can check it out. But essentially, the young people, uh, and not just young people, mainly young people led on this, and Janine, if I could just ask you, just to click on any one of them, it doesn't really matter, just to show people what comes up. So you see there an interview with a young person, actually in their own voice. So rather than having somebody else speak for the young person, or indeed an older person, it's in their own voice. And I think that really matters. And you have to do a bit of editing. They're all about 15 seconds long, because we live in a culture where most people won't watch big long videos. But it's really, really powerful. And there's one section in it there where young people are talking about a youth center that they can't get into. And just by having it on there, it began a different conversation. Uh, really because I suppose challenged people a little bit to think, well, if we've got an asset and the people who should be using it are not, what's going on? So that's just a very quick, really, kind of sense of what we could create. And I know many of you have been involved already with Janine and others in doing some of this work in interviews and thinking about this. But that's really what uh, the Walk and Talk is about. Going out there and discovering in very real terms what's going on. So. Our, our invitation to you this morning is to spend about an hour with somebody you don't know, with a neighbor, uh, soon to be a friend, um, going on a walk and, uh, you know, walk and talk with the Australians might call go walk about, all right, but we want you to come back, right? Australians go walk about, they disappear for three months, so we want you to come back <laughs> in an hour. Um, and essentially your invitation is to, in pairs obviously, and you can, if you want to walk in threes, that's fine, we're, we're but to discover three things that could be used to make the community stronger and a better place. It's as simple as that. And you make sense of that, you know, so be as creative as you like. Okay, there's no rule that says this is right, that's wrong. You are the one with your partner that can be as creative and as, you know, outside the boxes as you want to be on this. And hopefully what you'll do is you'll spot things that we would have never seen except through your eyes. So we're going to take about an hour. In a few moments, we're going to support you to kind of get into, into pairs. When I say support, I'm going to say, right, find someone you don't know. Right? That's what I mean by support. Um, but then we're going to, once we have pairs, get out of the boat and go for a walk. And we'll agree to be back from the time we leave here in about an hour. An hour's time, it'll be in around about lunchtime. So we'll chow down. And then we're going to actually start mapping what we've seen and also listening to what we haven't seen that other people may have spotted. Does that all make sense? Yeah. What we will have by the end of today is we'll have a very clear map of the clubs and the groups and the hidden treasures that are going to allow us to have a life of our choosing and everybody else out there as well if they so choose to be involved. But we'll also have is some time set aside to have really interesting conversations. So we're going to have some space on that as well. We'll literally show you how to have a strength-based or an asset-based conversation, which doesn't lead to pitching and moaning, but leads to change and transformation. Sound good? Yes. Okay. So now, 